I've been using the DJI Inspire One for about a week now. I just purchased it and I've been flying with it. I've got some really cool shots. I absolutely love it having two remotes, one to operate the drone and one to operate the gimbal is fantastic. And the fact that they have their FPV system built in so you're not relying on Wi-Fi like I'm used to with flying some of the like the Phantom 3 and stuff like that. It just makes flying these things so much nicer. But the one thing that DJI is a real stickler on is their firmware upgrades. They will actually prevent you from flying your drone if your firmware is too old and needs to be upgraded. They will make you upgrade. They will lock down your drone and not allow you to fly it until you upgrade the firmware. Now this video is not going to be about the process of upgrading firmware because there's like a million videos on that. It's gonna be about a very small thing that you can do to make the whole process go much quicker and much easier. Now, when you watch a DJI firmware update video, you're gonna be able to understand that this process is really simple, but there's a couple things that are kind of important. One, you need to make sure that you update the firmware on your drone first and then update it on the remote. It'll just save yourself some hassle, just do it in that order. Now, on the drone, you actually have to update the firmware by loading the firmware, dragging that file onto a micro SD card that you put into the camera, and then it updates the firmware off of that micro SD card. Whereas with the remote, you just like open up the app and then press update firmware and it just does it. 90% of you guys, if you're gonna have problems updating firmware, it's gonna be right here with this guy. Now, what DJI tells you to do is to take your SD card and wipe it in the computer, like reformat it and everything, and then take that downloaded firmware upgrade that you get off of DJI's website, you take the .bin file, you drag it onto the root directory of your SD card, which is just right on your SD card, not in any folders or anything like that. You pop it in to your camera and then your drone automatically starts updating. You can tell it's updating because of the noises that the drone will make. It has like a series of different types of beeps it'll make and then you can tell if it's about to upgrade, it's upgrading or when it's done upgrading or if the upgrade failed. All that stuff you can learn really easy by a main video that DJI has on YouTube for upgrading the firmware that I'll link in the description. I went to update the firmware on my drone. I put the .bin file on the SD card, I put it on here and nothing happened. I researched like every single form I could find on it, watched about every YouTube video. I even talked to guys at DJI to try to figure out if there's something that I was doing wrong. This whole process took me like four hours before I figured out what I was doing wrong. The problem lies in the DJI reading your SD card. I know they say you can take your micro SD card and reformat it in the computer and pop it in with the .bin file on it and it will start. That's not exactly true. If your SD card isn't formatted correctly so that the drone will even read it, then there's no way that it can run the update. I formatted my SD card using uh, FAT, which is MS-DOS, and then also XFAT or XFAT or whatever they're called, which are just like really versatile formatting options I use with my hard drive and everything if I want them to be readable by Mac and PC. But the Inspire didn't recognize either of those. And I realized this because on my app, I looked and it said that the SD card was not readable. So what you need to do to make sure that your drone will read your SD card is take your SD card, pop it into the drone, and then format it from the remote first. And then take it out, pop it into the computer, and my update worked even with that DCM or a DCIM folder on there that the drone created. Of course, you could probably delete this if you wanted to, but the update will work as long as your card is formatted by the drone. That way you know your card's formatted correctly. Had I known that, it probably would have saved me like four hours in this whole process, which is really annoying because I haven't seen anybody mention this in any forms, any websites, blog posts. Not even DJI was recommending you do this if you were having problems. I talked to online DJI support for like an hour and they couldn't even figure out what the problem was and I ended up figuring it out on my own. So DJI, if you're watching this video, if you could please just put on your YouTube video or tutorial or form or somewhere, this little thing, that might just save people a ton of time. It's super easy to pop in that SD card into your drone and format it first before you drop that .bin file on there. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, like it, share it, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.